Hello there guys and welcome to yet another episode of Trading to the BPL Inform. Now, I believe this is actually episode 13 and we're going to start this episode off with another little target for you guys. Now, the last episode I believe hit 330 like ratings, so could we go for another 300 likes today guys? Anywhere near 300 and I'll bring you guys episode 14 tomorrow. Obviously, you know, you guys have been going absolutely ham on the likes. Uh, the feedback in general has just been absolutely fantastic, and I really do appreciate the support. Uh, also, if you aren't following my Twitter, then that will be down below in the description. Uh, my Twitter is just simply at ZygroHD, so go ahead and follow me on Twitter. If you guys could help me get to 500 followers, that would be much appreciated. I believe I'm sitting on around 471 at the moment, around that anyway. So if you could go ahead and follow me over there, that would be much appreciated. Um, if there's anything you wanted to ask me or whatever, then, you know, if you were to ask me on Twitter, then there's a much higher chance that I will respond to you on Twitter rather than you commenting on one of my videos. Anyway, let's kick start this episode off with this inform Julio Cesar. Now, uh, we actually picked him up for the first player in the inform team. However, I decided to go ahead and list him basically because, uh, you know, his price is going down quite a bit due to the market crash, due to the team of the season coming out. So, you know, we ended up listing for 134k buy now and he didn't sell. So I've had to relist him for 105k start price. We've kept 134k buy now there uh, in case anyone does just want to snatch him up instead of waiting you know the 60 minutes so hopefully he can sell for the buy now but if he doesn't then we could end up making a 20,000 coin loss but either way let's get into the first trade now as you can see it is indeed the inform grab and uh, bronze striker really really good player to be honest you can see his stats are pretty insane for a bronze and uh, we actually paid 155k and scrolling along uh, I believe there's one for around 165 170k and then there was another one for 175k by now now, due to this one being in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation, uh, I believe we end up listing ours for 174,000 coins by now, which is going to be around an 8,000 coin profit after the tax, which isn't going to be bad at all, not a bad profit there, just a buy now, really, really good deal. But moving on into the trade pole, we picked up another really great deal, we picked up an informal Ryan Dunk, uh, the CDM from a club Rouge in, of course, Netherlands, and uh, we picked him up in the CDM position for triple two formation for 290,000 coins. Uh, his regular card is actually a centre-back, but... With his inform card, he's actually being converted to the CDM, but we listed for 325k by now, and that's going to be a really nice profit. I believe it's ended up going to be around a 20,000 coin profit after tax, which isn't bad at all. Really, really nice deal there. The grabbing does also sell, which is uh, pretty decent there, and altogether we made around a 28 to 30,000 coin profit on both of those players. So the Czar, as you can see, is still left to sell. He just isn't selling. We had to relist him. He didn't even go for the open bid, which is very annoying, but... From here, I actually picked up two inform Akin Femmers. It was inform quite a while ago, but his price has sort of stabilised at around 160 to 170 thousand coins. And we picked this first one up in the striker in the 4 for 1 1 formation for 149k. Listen for 168k, and that's going to be a pretty decent deal there. And then we picked up another one in the set of 4 position, going to be worth a little bit less just due to the fact that he is in centre forward in the 3 for 1 2 formation. Obviously, not the best formation either, but. Paid 140,000 coins, and uh, I believe we end up listing him for around 160,000 coins by now, and that'll be a really, really decent profit of around 12,000 coins. So both of them do indeed go ahead and sell. Cesar still stuck in that trade pole, not selling at all. But from here we get another informed bronze player, we get up Sinclair. Uh, quite an overpowered strike on this game. His inform card, you know, his stats are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, 71 shooting and 89 pace on a bronze card, pretty insane. But we pay 307,000 coins, and uh, we're looking to make a pretty decent profit. I believe we end up listening for 348,000 coins, which will be a pretty decent profit there of, I believe, around 25,000 coins. And as you can see here, the Cesar actually sold along with the Sinclair. The Sinclair sold for pretty decent profit, but the Cesar actually sold for his buy now. So there's obviously some impatient person that really wanted that Cesar, and he actually bought him which is pretty nice so we aren't going to be making a loss on him and I believe we made a 1000 coin profit on him which isn't bad at all but from here we have a Johnson the Jamaican striker Pay 268k, you're gonna listen for 295k, and that's gonna be a pretty decent profit of around 8,000 to 10,000 coins. And as you can see there, guys, he does indeed go ahead and sell for that buy now, which is very nice. And that leaves us on 522,000 coins. However, we're indeed gonna go over to the watch list, and as you can see, we actually have a player in the watch list, and that player is indeed going to be the beast himself, Okugu. Now, I believe his name is Okugu. Um, Okugu, we're not really sure how to pronounce it, but we've got a bit of 169,000 coins on him, and if we do end up winning that, that's going to be a pretty nice deal, and, you know, to be honest, we can make a pretty nice profit of around 20,000 coins. Uh, I believe the cheapest by now, after this 190k one, is around 200,000, so if we can win that, that's going to be a very, very nice profit there, and, um, you know, I'm just hoping to God that we do go ahead and win that, but that is how we are indeed going to be ending today's episode. If you did indeed enjoy the video, then be sure to click the like button, like I said at the start of the video. Follow my Twitter, at ZygerHD, and other than that, lads, I will see you next time. Goodbye.